I'm Jeremiah Fox. I'm a carpenter and handyman out here in New York City. How does house insulation work? Insulation is a very important part of homemaking, home remodeling, and building. Um, it basically keeps out the cold, keeps in the heat, and then in the summer keeps in the cold and keeps out the heat. Um, it's a barrier between the elements that you put inside your walls. Um, so if you're going to add a wing onto the house, add an extra loft, a bedroom, you're going to want to put insulation in so that that new section keeps the heat in, keeps the cold in, depending on the season. Uh, there are many types of insulation. Um, there's foam insulation, which is just foam boards, which you put in between the two by fours in your walls. There's um, batting, which is the rolled up insulation that you've seen a thousand times um, that you just stuff in everywhere. And then there's blown insulation, which is basically shredded up insulation, the pink stuff from the rolled up things. It's just shredded up and you get a giant hose and it blows it in and that can attach to anything. It's really good with attics because then you can just sit at one end, fill the whole thing in and not have to climb around there and potentially fall through your roof. For smaller projects, there's also an expandable foam type of insulation. It comes in a little can about the size of a spray paint can and it's got a tube that comes out of it and then you can spray that into cracks and the foam will expand out and fill that section up and then basically work as mini fix-it insulation projects. Um, insulation is made primarily of fiberglass, unless it's the foam core stuff. And fiberglass is very itchy, it's very fine, it gets in everywhere. It'll get into your fingers and your skin, so you always want to wear gloves with this. It can get into your lungs, so you want to wear a dust mask. Um, I recommend using long sleeve shirts when you're putting this in because you tend to get sweaty when you're doing it and that opens your pores and the fiberglass will go into your pores and it will take a while to get back out.